Hi, my name is Pablo Montoya. My first picture is a chancla or sandal in English. My caption is run, forest, run. My essay says, how many, how many remember the chancla or the sandal in English? It's not the exact one, but it doesn't matter. It's, it will still fly, strike, or be chucked at you. Whenever my mother would go into an angry rage, she would take off her chancla, and it was every person for themselves. Because if you got caught, you were done for. Hide, run, jump. The only way to win is not to get caught, which was impossible because somehow she would have superhuman strength and it would seem like she would open the closet door with one hand. The chakra did not only create fear in our, heart, in our hearts, but respect towards our, our mother in a sense. The, this chakra has been the most feared weapon that I know every kid runs from because it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be advisable to run towards it. That would just be plain dumb. I included this picture because it's something that I think a lot of kids bond to. The different ways our parents would beat us, they would laugh at it, and the differences and the different stories they would tell. My second picture is of my taco restaurant. Well, my taco, not my taco restaurant, but a taco restaurant near my house. My caption is "Food is good." My essay, is, my essay is: As I grew older, I would leave my house and not come back until I had a belly full of food, of good food. And of course, there was a taco restaurant five minutes away from my house. My friends and I would get together at 9 p.m. at, at night and be there until 2 a.m. in the morning. Because we didn't want to go home to violent and messed up homes. What was the point? We had food and chata refills until we could, couldn't drink anymore, and the food was amazing. They have, they have tacos, tortas, tacos. They have tacos, tor burritos, every Mexican plate, dish, and meal you could think of, plus dessert, like flan. I think food is something, food is something we all humans can share and not have a big fuss about. I mean, just sit down and, and forget our worries and enjoy the company we have around us. I still go eat here till this day. The food is good and they have, they have Wi-Fi and they have a free of refills. There's also my escape from the world outside. That's probably why I returned to, to it because it allows me to go back to my childhood. My next picture is a rose. My caption is stop and smell the roses. And I say, a lot of my life had negativity and I saw the world as negative but I came upon this rose at my grandma's, quote unquote, grandma's house. And I just loved it because it was so beautiful and I had to take a picture of it. The rose really gave me hope for the future. And just like the taco restaurant, I admire nature because it's an escape from the dark reality that life has. This rose is special not because it belonged to my grandma, but because it showed me that life keeps going on. And just like the rose, if it dies, if it dies out, something new can bloom. And that is just like hope. My city has a lot of beauty and many people don't see it don't see that. All they do is point out the negative things, that we are criminals, dropouts, and always having kids. But really, just stop and smell the roses, and you might just see all the beauty and potential the city has. My next picture is a group of my, I guess, considered co-workers, friends, librarians, and so on and so forth. Um, my caption is, Welcome Second Home. Sometimes the library isn't all about books and grouchy old librarians or, or, old, or old history books that only old people like to read. The library, in my opinion, can be pretty cool sometimes. It can become your second home. Most of the time can help you get out of the situation you are in. And you have someone behind you pushing you for the best, looking out for you, and if you're doing okay. I arrived here by accident. I didn't expect to be here for five years of my life and complete over a thousand hours of volunteer work. Even at the least, most of my friends, which I have now and have continued to have and hope to keep for as long as I live, dang. I didn't, even ima I didn't even imagine getting a job here. I used to think the library was lame. Who goes there? Who wants to go there? Only nerds go there, old, or old people and annoying kids. But I guess I was wrong. I met cool people like Cheryl, who was a head librarian, and she helped me out by being my mentor. And Jose, Jose Mendoza and Manny Escamillo, who taught me to love history and have an interest in history, in my history, because it matters. Kevin Cabrera, who taught me about bikes and all I need to know about them. So I guess I was wrong. The library isn't so lame. There's a lot of good people doing good stuff. And I know one day I'll be the, the crusty old guy reading the history books, and one day my annoying kids will be the, my annoying little kids will be the ones running around the library. My fourth picture is of the water, the, the city, the city water tower. My caption is "The night is ours." My essay, I love the night. It is when I, it is most, it is most, uh, sorry, it is most when I feel free. This is up my, to my present time, and now, and then the now in my life and I come alive at night. I enjoy it, I love it. I wish it'd be night every day, but I, I miss the sun and, be, and I become too pale. So I, I could go out and enjoy the cold breeze on my face and admire the city for its nightlife, nightlife atmosphere it has to offer. 
Santa Ana is beautiful at night. There's such a diverse community. The people are welcoming and there's always something to do, even if you don't have money. For example, me and my friends are broke, are broke as a joke, but we have fun anyway. Any way we can in this cool city. It's not everything to me. To some, this city is home, and I think I'm okay with that. This place is home. The tower is a landmark that allows us to look up and hope for a better day. Something I've always wanted to do is climb it, climb it, like in that 70s show. But for now, I'll just stay on the ground and take a picture of it. That's it. Thank you.